Hello friends, my name is Jay. In this video, I gonna teach you how to restore your iPhone, iPad or iPod on any iDevice with a firmware file. For that, you need to open the iTunes and connect your iPhone or any iDevice to the iTunes. So here is my iPhone which is connected as you can see here and my firmware is up to date but I want to restore it. So if you want to restore your iPhone or any iDevice then you just need to click on the I, uh, restore iPhone or restore iPad button and it will check for the latest firmware from Apple server and it will download. But what if you have already downloaded the iPhone fir firmware file as I have downloaded it here. To restore your iPhone or iDevice with any firmware file you need to press shift then click on the restore iPhone. If you are a Mac user then you need to press command and then click on the restore iPhone. So let me press the shift and click on the restore iPhone button. Now you need to select your firmware file. So mine is on desktop so let me browse it. Here is the my firmware file for iPhone 4s. Just click on the open. It will pop up a confirmation message which shows iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 6.1.3 and will verify the restore with Apple. Click on the restore. Now it is extracting the software. Now it is accessing the iTunes servers and verifying the iPhone restore. Now it's preparing for restore. My iPhone has just restarted. Installing some driver here which is Apple mobile device recovery mode. Let's keep obtaining driver from Windows update. Again it is verifying the restore with Apple servers. Now the actual restoring has started. It is copying the firmware files to my iPhone and blah blah. Your iPhone has been restored to factory setting and restarting. Please leave your iPhone connected. It will appear in the iTunes window after it restarts. So guys we have successfully restored my iPhone right now and it is restarting check here it is now connecting it will take few minutes to connect and restart for the first time as you can see here the restore procedure is complete and now my iPhone is restarted and it is showing in the iTunes so welcome to your new iPhone now if you want to restore from the backup which you have created earlier then select the backup here but I want to set up this phone as a new iPhone so check me set up as new iPhone click on continue now my iPhone is activated and I can use it and if you want to know how to sync your iPhone with your computer then I will going to make another tutorial for that too so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks guys for watching